Thank you, Takai san. Do you know haiku? <laughs> haiku is uh, the shortest poem a form in the world, uh, composed of uh, 17 Japanese letters. You are probably uh, familiar with the, the, uh, the works of the haiku master, uh, Matsuo Basho. Uh, haiku can be uh, expressed not only in the Japanese, but also in English. Basho's work can be, be uh, expressed in uh, English like uh, a sound of frog jumping in the water, the old pond. A sound of frog jumped, jumping into water, the old pond. About two years ago, uh, I myself started making haiku in English for some reason by joining the workshop by a professional uh, hike uh, poets. My English, my first English hike uh, made at that time was uh, like this. Just at hall, somewhere behind me, cracking night. Just at hall, somewhere behind me, cracking the night. It was my very first English hike I made at uh, in the workshop I attended, and uh, all my su surprise, I won the first prize. <laughs> Since then, uh, I have been hooked in the English hiker. So, Tosuma says, uh, tonight I want to take you on a journey uh, into the world of hiker poetry, or I like to call it go hike. So, hike is a, a traditional form of Japanese poetry known for its uh, simplicity, brevity, and uh, profound beauty. And it captures in just a few words. But uh, uh, don't be fooled with its simplicity. Haiku is a um, window to the world around us, a way to find uh, a joy and express it in a way that uh, few other art forms can match. Okay. So uh, what is the essence of the haiku? A traditional haiku is consists of the only uh, three lines, five, uh, seven, and five syllables structure, totally uh, 17 syllables. These uh, constraints may seem uh, limiting, but uh, they are the very uh, heart of the, what uh, makes haiku so captivating. So this, uh, like a uh, uh, minimalism, forces us to force us on our essence of moment, distinct the uh, experience into the uh, purest form. One of the key uh, themes of the haiku is a deep uh, connection uh, with uh, nature. Many haiku poets are inspired by the changing the season, the beauty of the like flowers, and the serenity of the quiet pond like a uh, basho, <laughs> or uh, tranquility of the falling uh, snow. Uh, when you write a haiku, you are not just uh, composing the words, you are painting the picture of the world around you. Okay, go hike is uh, all about uh, embracing the joy of our uh, observation. And uh, hike encourages us to uh, pay attention to the world, to find the uh, beauty in the ordinary lives. It might be a sound of the, like a uh, lane tapping on your wing and a uh, first sip of the hot cup of tea in the chilly morning. And a hike uh, helps us uh, cherish these uh, moments by capturing them in the words. Uh, here is uh, latest, uh, my latest English hiker. I have made it uh, for acorns and uh, squirrels. Acorns here and there, gala for squirrels, bouncing and dancing. Acorns here and there, gala for squirrels, bouncing and dancing. It might sound <laughs> slightly fairy tale seeing. Uh, of uh, lively squirrels uh, that uh, seem to be uh, delightedly uh, by a uh, large amount of acorns. I have depicted one uh, scene I just experienced uh, when I lived in America, where I saw many big squirrels enjoying the collecting the acorns for the coming uh, winter. So this hike also won the special prize at this year's English Hike Poetry Workshop I joined two weeks ago. I'm sorry. So uh, writing haiku is not just about uh, what uh, you see, uh, but uh, also how, how you feel. 
So it's deeply a uh, personal experience. Each hike you create, you create your unique uh, perspective, their emotions. It's like a snapshot, uh, your soul, frozen time. And uh, who you are, uh, who you and the others uh, to revisit whenever you wish. The next hike came up to me while I was drinking sake at tavern alone. A party of one, one glistening flesh sauli, one bottle of sake. Party of one, one freezing fresh sauli, one bottle of sake. Okay. So hike often uh, the count, uh, contains uh, the see, sense of the mystery and also uh, encourages the reader to imagine the interpret. So the brevity and the simplicity of the form allow for the multiple layers of meaning. So and the readers are invited to encourage their own the imagination and making the each like a uh, new uh, adventure. So making hike is a beautiful journey into the world with short yet uh, profound poetry. It's a way to celebrate the world around us and find the joy in everyday moments and to share our unique experience and emotion. The velocity of a hike is that anyone can do it. You do not need to be the professional poet or artist. All you need is the willingness to observe the appreciation and the express. So I encourage each of you to give a go hike and try. Uh, give a piece of paper and uh, grab a piece of paper and a pen and look out to the window and start writing about what you see and what you feel and what brings you to joy. So last of all, let me show you my uh, last uh, latest <laughs> hike I made uh, two weeks ago. Uh, five drinking uh, whiskey alone <laughs> along the calm night, autumn night. Clocking all nights, a click somewhere deep within, a tranquil night. A clocking walnuts, a click somewhere deep within, a tranquil night. Why don't you make one on your own? Let's go hike and enjoy happy hike making. Thank you. Back to Toastmaster.